there, I'm Melissa with Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center, and I'm here to talk about some of the most common myths surrounding blood donations. Ready? Let's get started. Myth number one, you can't donate blood if you have a tattoo. This is false. Don't worry, if you thought this was true, you're not alone. If you received your tattoo in a state licensed facility, you have to wait one week before donating. If you did the tattoo yourself, which is pretty impressive, or if you got a tattoo in a non-state licensed facility, then you have to wait three months to donate blood. Myth number two, if you've had COVID-19 or a COVID-19 vaccine, you can't donate blood. False. If you received a COVID-19 vaccine, you are still eligible to donate blood, so long as you're symptom free and feeling well. If you've had or have had COVID-19, you must wait 10 days from when you initially tested positive and be asymptomatic before you can donate blood. Myth number three, you can't donate blood if you have had cancer. True and false. For most cancers, there is a one-year deferral before you can donate blood. For lymphoma and leukemia, however, there is an indefinite deferral. For minor skin cancers, you can donate two weeks after the cancer is removed. Myth number four, my blood type isn't needed. False. You might think your blood type is not needed because it's not universal. However, all blood types play an important role in saving lives. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs a blood transfusion. Your donation can help make a huge difference in the lives of patients and their families. And finally, myth number five, you can't donate if you've traveled outside the U.S. This one's partially true. It depends on when and where you travel to. You can check your eligibility at giveblood.org forward slash donate forward slash check eligibility. Remember, one blood donation saves many lives. Don't let misconceptions about donating blood stop you from helping patients in your community. Schedule your appointment today at giveblood.org.